What's up YouTubers, it's time for another starter deck opening video and today guys we're going to be doing the poll opposite to a starter deck we opened a while back starter deck Kaiba Reloaded so yeah guys, I opened the Yu-Gi-Oh one a while back uh, I was supposed to do the Kaiba one and I do not know what happened <laughs> it just never, I just never got round to it but we're going to do it now Mainly because I'm going to be going on holiday soon and I am in such a rush to get ready for the holiday I don't have time to get some of the Pokemon. So we're doing this. <laughs> oh god, this is what my last comment is. So yeah, we've got Kyber on the front, we've got Blade Knight and Blue Eyes White Dragon. You got reloaded, you got reloaded. And on the back, of course, we have some selection of cards here. We've got Force Raider, Cardless, Cardless, Cardless. Blah 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 blah. So yeah, there we are, guys. That's basically the box. Some purple, nice goodness, which is a good match. Uh, do I have Yuki's to compare? No, I think I threw that away. Great, and here I thought I managed to keep it. <laughs> this is all going to do like a compare and contrast sort of thing. But yeah, Yuki's is just yeah red with dark magician in the background, and I think the science swordsman. Yeah. Anyway, let's open this up. There we are. Very easy because it's an old box. There we are. So yeah, and because it's in the old, since it's an old-fashioned structure deck, we've got a different layout. For example, for those of you who are used to the new style and structure decks, so there's no metal tab keeping the deck, deck in place. It's just a empty box. So we don't need this anymore. But by box. So yeah, and we get all this plastic thing. We got the deck right at the front there. There we are. We have the rule book, so yeah, we've got some color comparison comparison there. We've got like red here, we've got the purple, a bit differently. The purple's got some sort of like cybernetic uh, background layout, while the red's kind of like, um, I want to say like building sort of thing. It's kind of like a got a build, red filter overlay on top of like a building in the sky, uh, and same for that, like purple overlay. I think that's what they did, they got lazy, so that's what they did. So yeah, got the basic instructions here. But again, we don't need this. We've played Yu-Gi-Oh for years and years. I'm on the original duelist after all. So we don't need this. Goodbye, Rubok. So anyway, yeah, continuing on with what we've got. We've got this, which is basically a list of the deck. How do we work it? How can we improve upon it, including some future stuff, or in this case, past stuff? We don't need this. We basically throw things away. So here we are guys, we got our mat. It's a purple version of Yuki's. Let's open that up. Lovely. There we are. We've got purple. So your favourite colour is purple. That's excellent. Lift this up. There we are. Because it's old fashioned, this deck was made before the um, pendulums and before links. We don't have pendulum zones here or here the sides and we don't have the extra monster zones up there up there <laughs> so yeah that's it for this plastic uh, what we used to do is like we have our decks we just store them there of course since it's just like that it can come out just like that but we don't need this anymore but bye let's get straight into the deck and we can see the cover the ultimate blue ultimate rare blue eyes white dragon beauty all right let's get this open and of course it's old fashioned, we have to open this from the top. We don't have anything that can make the plastic fall off, so we just have to rip into this. Like so. There we are. Alright, swing around pretty thick. Actually, I think this is more than 40 cards. Alright, there we are, we got blue eyes white dragon right there, ultimate rare. And if this follows the line of the um, Yugi, Yugi sec, if we behind it, we've got the regular blue eyes. Yep, we've got our common blue eyes right there. So here we are. There's a the comparison with the ultimate rare and the common. I always did prefer ultimate rare. Anyway, just because it's high rarity. So there we go. We've got two blue eyes white dragons. Pretty good, really. Considering if you are really like blue eyes white dragon. And what's really good is uh, if you've got Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon as well, if you're one of the lucky few who have one, you're ba if you get this, you're two Blue Eyes away 
from some of the monster. <laughs> and here we are, here's the next one. Aqua Mador, a very a very very classic class. I think this was in the Legend of Blue Eyes. So yeah. Kaiba's um, classic La Jean, the mystical genie of the lamp. Yep. And another classic Kaiba, Balox. I don't think he actually used this one. Opticlops. Opticlops? Yeah. Opticlops. The dragon that dwells in the cave. I think he might have used this. A very rare time. Luster Dragon, not really Kyber's, he really mainly used Luster Dragon number two. It's more like Rebecca Hawkins. Kyber's X Head Cannon, of course. Mad Dog of the Dark of Darkness. Nice. Not really a Kyber card, but I can see what they're doing. Vorse Raider, I always wanted this when I was little. And now I've got loads. But I always did prefer the classic artwork. Classic art. It's just beautiful. <laughs> Alexandrite Dragon? Maybe. What oil Dragon? No. Okay. <laughs> so that's it for normal monsters, guys. We'll, we'll keep all the monsters together. But yeah, that's all the normal monsters. It's so now on to the effect monsters. The Twin Headed Burful Man. Yep. Yomi Ship? Um, I don't really see Kaiba using this. What on earth are they doing with this deck? Death Feral Imp? I uh, he mainly like used this in the movie, Pyramid of Light. Yeah. Kaiser Seahorse, yep. Easy some of that blue eyes. And you got two! Two Kaiser Seahorses. Of course, you got two blue eyes, you need two Kaiser Seahorses. Chaos Necromance. What's this one do? The attack defense of this uh, the number of monster cards in your graveyard time is three hundred. Mm, possibly good if you're if you've got like your yourself a self dis deck destruction deck. Yeah. Uh Kyber Classic. Blade Knight, yep, this is a Kyber card. Um, Horus the Dark Flame Dragon, um, yeah. Haven't never used levels, so this is a surprise to me. And we got Horus the Dark Flame level 6, yep, okay. <laughs> Cybernetic Cyclops, I don't really see Kyber using this card as well. No, I really don't see it. Oh, Puppet Plant. What is up with this deck? It's not really giving us any classic Kyber cards. Or is that because Kyber never really used that many monsters? Death Mosquito? I really don't see Kyber using this. Again, no. Uh, Tiger Dragon? This was in Kyber's pack, so in the future, so, or the, in this case, the present, so I guess I can't really argue that. Vanguard of Dragons? Mmm, don't know. Divine Dragon Apocalypse? Hmm. Oh my god, guys. If you don't know the name of this monster, be prepared. I actually know it. It's known as Interplanetary Purply Thorny Dragon. That's a mouthful. <laughs> and that's it, guys. This actually surprised me. We barely have any classic Kyber cards. We've got main, his main, mon main normal monsters, but we haven't got much of his effect monsters. Is that because they're like, too powerful, like, the, like his XYZ monsters? Possibly, yeah. Anyway, let's get on to his spells. Maybe we'll see some classic Kyber spells. Uh, starting off with Dark Hole. I wouldn't be surprised if he used Dark Hole. Because um, it's back in the day. Uh, Soul Exchange. Yep, classic Kyber. Tribute to the Doom. I wouldn't be surprised if Kyber had some of the, these in, the, in his deck. Rush Rustic Recklessly. Possibly. Yeah. Classic Mystical Space Typhoon. Nearly every deck must have it in MSC somewhere. Offering to the doomed, possibly. Uh, stomping destruction. Uh, yeah, I could guess that you can use this one because there is a lot of dragons. Classic enemy controller. Yes. Burst team of destruction. Good for a heavy blue eyes white dragon deck. A classic shrink. Yep, I remember Kabi using this. It was beyond amazing. <laughs> Shield Crush, yep, if you're an attack heavy deck and your opponent plays defense monsters, Shield Crush would be quite useful. Silent Doom, yes, because we've got some gnarly normal monsters, yep. Dragon Tactics, Tribute 2 Dragon Type Monsters, put some level 8 Dragon Type Monster from your deck. Yes, especially if you've got two blue eyes by dragons and you want to call out your blue eyes. Shard of Greed, because we can't have Pot of Greed. <laughs> and that's it for, um, Spell cards, yeah. I say we've got quite a good, decent selection of spell cards. Pretty powerful ones. 
too, especially like Dark Hole, which can destroy everything, uh, Mystical Space Typhoon, and Shrink, of course. I think Shrink is like one of the spell cards. People forget how powerful, but at the same time, it's not. <laughs> anyway, we've got like Trap Hole for our trap cards. Nice. Uh, especially good when you're dealing with a lot of normal summoner. Sakuretsu Armor. Yes, especially if you want to just destroy one monster. And of course, Kaiba never used Mirrorfall, so this is a good substitute. Kaiba Classic Shadow Spell. This effect is kind of like Mirror's Spellbind Circle. So I can see why um, Spellbind Circle never had the attack point reduction. Widespread Ruins. That's pretty good, especially when you want to deal damage to your opponent same time. Threatening Roar. This is a good card to have, especially if um, you don't want to lose monsters on the field from the attack, because it stops any card from attacking that turn. So yeah. Uh, bright. Or oh, no, Birthright, sorry. Um, yeah, good for normal monsters, I say. And lastly, Damage Gate. When you take battle damage out of one monster in your graveyard will attack. Less than equal to the amount of damage you took, especially mm -hmm. something. I guess that's good, yeah, especially um, if you're going to take loads of damage. This card might be actually good for like, Time Lords, since they all have zero attack points except two. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it for Kaiba's Reload starter deck, guys. I say it's pretty good. Nah, I wouldn't say it's the best, but it's a good one, really. Considering what you get, um, like two blue eyes, white dragons, a couple of good spells. Is it good to rival Yugi's? I'm not quite sure. I feel like Yugi's is more has more of a chance of winning than Kaiba's. But who knows? It all depends upon the cards you get. Really, that's what it is in the end of the day. It all depends upon the cards you draw and how you play them. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm now going to get finish off packing for my holiday. Where have you up here? So until next time, guys, this is me signing out. Uh, bye bye.